Hey y'all, welcome back. So I'm just going to start off with my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and just pat that into the areas where I have larger pores. Then I'm going to go in with this NYX Color Correcting Cream in the color Dark Peach. Now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Orange Corrector and I'm going to apply that on the areas of my face that are super dark and need to be brightened. And I'm going to go in with this foundation brush and just pat that into my skin. Now I'm going to take my RCMA setting powder and I'm going to just dust that on the areas that I applied the corrector just so they can be set. Now I'm going to take my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in the color Macau and I'm going to buff that into my skin. And what you want to do is slightly press the foundation and what you want to do is slightly Press the foundation down in the skin just so it's not sliding. And I'm just going to put a little more on the areas of my face that are extremely dark just so we can have an even base. Now I'm going to go and start to contour. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in the color mahogany and I like to contour first because if it's too harsh I can easily just brighten up that area when I go into highlight I'm gonna put this on the hollows of my cheeks I'm gonna put it on my forehead just to make it seem a little smaller and then I'm gonna put some on my nose just to contour out my nose and I'm gonna blend that in an upwards motion and you're gonna make sure you blend 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 so there aren't any harsh lines Now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the color Cool Tan and you're going to apply that underneath your eyes in a triangular shape. Then you're going to apply that on your cupid's bow, your forehead in a upside down triangle, the bridge of your nose and just a dot on your chin. And you're going to go in with a beauty blender and blend that out. The highlight is where the areas of your face kind of attract the light so that's why we're brightening it and some people prefer to use a damp beauty blender but honestly I like the way the dry beauty blender gives me kind of a fuller coverage so I prefer to use it dry I'm gonna blend that out then I'm gonna go in and set my under eye with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to set underneath my contour with that just so we can make it a little sharp and then I'm going to go in with my RCMA powder and a powder brush and I'm going to apply that to my entire face and then I'm going to use the same brush and dust away the Sasha Buttercup setting powder that is underneath my eye <laughs> Now I'm just contouring out my nose with that mahogany color and I'm gonna make sure I blend this like crazy you don't want to be walking around looking crazy with the harsh nose contour like that's just not cute so I'm gonna blend that out with the brush and then I decided to blend it out some more with that same beauty blender I used to highlight with because it was just too harsh now this is my favorite part if you know me you know I love blush so I'm gonna go in and take that BH Cosmetics professional blush palette and I'm just gonna like pack the blush on like I love 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 brush I think it literally makes the look so I'm just gonna apply that on the apples of my cheek now I'm gonna go in with that highlighter palette and I'm gonna start like patting it on gently just so that I don't get any harsh line from the highlighter. I'm going to do that in an upwards motion. I'm going to swift it across my face really gently and then I'm going to go in with another highlighter. This is from Colourpop in the color Avalon. And my highlight was a little too pop in there so I went in and I blended that out a little with a beauty blender. Same beauty blender I used for my highlight. And I'm just going to like smooth out the harsh lines so it doesn't look crazy from the side. Now I'm going to go in, highlight my nose, highlight my forehead area, my cupid's bow, 
and then my chin and I'm just adding some more highlight to my cheeks and that is pretty much it if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more like this and I will see you guys in my next one okay bye